Whenever you see cops, you always think you've done something wrong. But of course, like, you of course know in your mind you haven't, and they're not going to come for you. It's not my did. Horatio. Yeah. Maybe it's best if we start by saying that you're not Daniel Khalif. I think, yeah. <laughs> in case it's any confusion, you know. Yeah. Well, they, yeah. they caught him again, didn't they? So, mm. Another jailbreak. Um, why don't you tell us who you are? Um, well, Horatio. Yeah. Castile. Mm -hmm. 19. Uh, you know, from Banbury. Mm -hmm. You know, lived there uh, pretty much all my life. Um, I guess if I had to sum up who I am, mm. that's a very, uh, I don't know, I think I'm quite a regular guy. Yeah. Like in, in terms of like the widest spectacle, mm. you know, um, especially like when I come to a place in London, I'm just like a nobody, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I like, you know, do my hobbies, you know, like I play guitar, bass, I kind of sing. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm good or not, but maybe I can try it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But, we'll, um, we'll find out. We'll yeah. find out. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, uh, you know, I go to work. Mm -hmm. you know? Which do work? Um, I work in a kitchen. Like Daniel Khalif. Like Daniel Khalif. Fucking yeah, hell. I know, I know. <laughs> Did the police know that? No, well, well, they didn't. Okay, so let's yeah. explain, shall we? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe, Ed, you explain how, yeah. how this happened. Well, what are we doing well, here? Pretty sure was mistakenly arrested mm. on, on, I suppose on suspicion of being Daniel Khalif, yeah. which at Banbury Station last yeah. Thursday? Yes, Thursday, yeah. Yeah, so talk, tell us about that. What was that, what was that experience? Like, oh, what, were, what, were you, what were you doing that wasn't escaping from prison? Mm. I think I was just thinking about stuff and things, you know, just like people do, thinking. Yep. And, like, you know, I, I, I'd, I'd been waiting for that day for about, like, a week. Because of course I was going to go sign in for my favorite band, and so I've been anticipating it so much, you know. Yeah, I planned out everything, and I was like thinking about what I was going to say, what I was going to get signed, and I, I, I had like a uh, shift at work, and I get off, you know, it's like a three-hour shift. I get off at like twelve. I go down to the train station. It's just like any other time at the train station, you know, like the millions of times I've been. Mm. Yeah, I pop my tickets in the, into the barrier, and then I just go through. I, I think this was the moment I might have got identified but i was like by the concession stand you know mm. where you get food and stuff get like an overpriced drink and like a naked bar you know mm. by like five quid in total and <laughs> that's rough yeah i know and i remember like the people behind the the thing behind the cash register were like looking at me and they're like when they were talking to each other you know <laughs> and like one of them went out back but then there was also another moment where you know when i went down to the platform and i was just sitting there I remember seeing this lady come down to the platform and then she went around the corner and in the elevator and just went back up. And you know, that's sus, isn't it? That's, and, then, and then later on when I was with the police, I saw that same lady and she took the photo of me, not the video, mm. but she took the photo where I'm like, I'm like that, mm. you know, I'm not looking over like that, um, which you might see on like Daily Mail or something, mm. you know, but um, yeah, I think she, so she was probably the one, um, but I don't know. So, yeah. so the police are tipped off. Yeah. And what happens? Is there like a helicopter? Do they like materialize? <laughs> Scale down yeah. the side of the tree. No, they like sail like, down it, from the ceiling. It was, it was literally just like two police just spawned in out of nowhere and they just like started walking over. And it's just two. At, well, I, I could see at first. And they just come over and they, and they look, you know, and I'm thinking, it's pretty much like a few minutes before they came over, they said on the intercom, the, the, the train station said in the intercom, you know, um, this train's delayed because someone was on the tracks or something. And so, you know, these cops come over down the, on, on, on the platform and I'm thinking I was probably for this, right? Mm. Like of all days, you know, the train's going to be late and this is happening. Mm. And it's like, you know, whenever you see cops, you always think you've done something wrong. Mm. But of course, like, you of course, know in your mind you haven't and they're yeah. not going to come for you. It's not they did, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> and you're like, fuck, what is it? Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, I must be dreaming or something. Yeah. But they came over and I, and it, you know, like, hey, we need to talk to you. And I'm like, I look up, I'm like, me? Yeah. You know, me? And then they suddenly take my hands. I remember just kind of like jolting back and I'm like, you know, whoa. Yeah. But there's not really much I can do. Yeah. So they just put me in cuffs. And I'm like, what's this about? Well, you know, what have I done? And then they, they explain, uh, some lady I called them saying that I matched the description of this this guy's broken out of prison. And I tell them, like, this is the first I'm hearing of this. And they tell me about it. They kneel down. They show me, like, a photo on the phone. And I'm thinking, like, this doesn't look like me, mm. you know. And then, like, suddenly have more cops, like, come down. And, you know, oh God, there must have been at least 20. 
like I say, at least 15 to 20. Mob handed. Yeah. 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 And, you know, they're all coming over and some of them take turns, hold my handcuffs, you know. Yeah. Well, that's well, like holding on to you. Yeah. Like, like, like in the, case you run away again. Well, like the handcuffs that my hands are in, it was weird because like my, had my left hand like that and then my right hand like that. Yeah. Like inverted. Oh, you right. know, and it's like these black steel solid mm. handcuffs. Nothing like the movies, mm. you know, which sucks. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and then it was one point when the video was taken of me, you could see the lady hold my handcuffs and she was holding them and she showed me another photo with Daniel. Mm. And I was like, that just kind of looked like me, like the mugshot one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was kind of insulted, you know, when I saw the guy, I was like- I think you're more handsome. Thank you. I think he's also a good looking guy though. <laughs> Daniel? Yeah, yeah, I think Daniel. No, Daniel, yeah, Daniel is handsome, like, yeah. but he's not as handsome no. as you. Oh, so, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's tough. yeah that, that should have been the, that should have been the, it's like the someone, giveaway. It's like someone showing you a photo, I don't know. Yeah. If, let's say let's say you're like mm. a seven out of 10. Mm -hmm. And yeah. someone shows you a photo of a five out of 10. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're like, well, that's fucking rude. Yeah. Yeah, so that's true. That's yeah. kind of where you are, I guess. I have been, ha I have had that before. Where people have compared me to like YouTubers and stuff. Oh, right. I can't even remember The one that's married to Zoella. What's his oh, name? Oh, Alfie Days. That might have been him, yeah. one of them. I think so. But like, I maybe. That. Yeah. Ish. I, yeah. I sometimes like people show me people I look like and I'm like, mm. can you? You know? Like, you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're more worried about yeah. that rather than being like you're in handcuffs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey. Yeah. Like this is gonna look so bad on my LinkedIn. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't put it on your LinkedIn to be fair. Posting up uh, inspirational lessons you can learn from being <laughs> arrested mistakenly by the police. Yeah. Um, so yeah. were you aware that there was like a manhunt manhunt on mm -mm, for the guy? Mm -mm. Not at all. Mm -mm. You hadn't seen his picture no. anywhere. You hadn't seen it. You hadn't seen it on the news. You no, no. No. Apparently, I heard it was like on Sky News or something. Mm. It was everywhere to be. Yeah. Other channels as well yeah. are available. Yeah. And, you know, I don't really keep up with the news that much lately because of my mental health, trying to just kind of stay away from the negative stuff. It's like, you know, my life's already kind of can be hard enough as it is sometimes, you mm -hmm. know, and a lot of it's all just kind of like in my mind, you know, just dealing with like, it's kind of like, it's things like anxiety mm -hmm. and, and I guess, you know, um, just those sort of feelings, like the sort of feelings that everybody gets, mm. you know, and trying to deal with that. And, uh, you know, trying to deal with that along with financial situations like me and my family and stuff and what I'm going to do with my, my future, what sort of career I'm going to have, you know, how I'm going to do this and that, get my own place, all that sort of stuff. It's like, that's a lot harder to come to terms with when you're reading all this news that is kind of validating how you feel like that or that you know that bug in your head that's telling you like it's all over you know like you know you're gonna be nothing like you know you're gonna be stuck in this town forever you know doing the same just job all mm. your life you know and as, as a young person you can imagine it's very depressing mm. you know for us to be stuck in that situation so i kind of stopped trying to consume the news as much mm -hmm. you know and just try and consume more positive things yeah you know, and focus on the things I like, the things that make me happy, the people that make me make me happy. Like going to Royal Blood signings. Yeah, like going to that, you know. As the fucking cops can't get in the way. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually like an anxiety dream come to yeah. life. It's like you're doing yeah. one thing to make you happy yeah. and the arm of the British state is, yeah. pre <laughs> is That's preventing you. Then, you know, I was thinking that when that was happening, I was thinking like, for God's sake, you know, I can't have anything. I can't have anything. <laughs> I can't have anything. Yeah. Honestly, I was thinking. What is the charge? Yeah. <laughs> Being young. I was like, you know. Oh God, that reminds me of the tab. They did a, a, a article on me and it was so funny. It's the funniest article I've ever read it. Like, yeah, especially the, And it was like, it was pretty much saying some stuff about like, it was talking about the whole online reaction mm. with, with me um, and all the, the focus I've had from people. People thinking I'm attracted and stuff. And the tab was pretty much just an article about that saying like, there's one line that said like, what's the problem officers, you know, um, other than having like a dangerously sharp jawline, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, and I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm rooting to my mom and she's just like laughing her ass off and I'm yeah. like, you know. It's a lethal weapon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like I should be registered somewhere. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, you should. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's, a, that's an interesting experience. So you yeah. go from not reading the news to being... To being the news. To being the news. Mm -hmm. How, so, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let, let's go back to when they, so they've nicked you, you're there, mm. they're holding you, you've got your inverted arm thing yeah. going on. Mm -hmm. What's next? How long before they release you and realize you're not the man? Well, Do you have to prove it? Like what? Yeah, so I don't, I didn't have any ID or anything on me. I don't carry my passport with me. Mm. Um, 
unfortunately, like I, I, I can't drive. I don't drive, you know. So I have never got like a provisional or anything. So I haven't got that ID to to have on me to show people. Um, so I showed them my bank card, you know, and that was about it. But you know, like even even if I did have those IDs on me, like they could have been fake. Yeah, they could have been you know, made from somebody else. Just anything, really. I also, I also think. Yeah. Horatio Castillo sounds like a fake name. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It sounds yeah. like an assumed identity. Like, yeah. Was, instead of like John Jones. Yeah. Like, I think it'll be Horatio Castillo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a cool yeah. name. I, th- I, mean, I guess yeah. as well, you know, if the man you're suspected, yeah. you're accused of being, is suspected, uh, accused of like terrorism yeah. and also like possibly gathering information yeah. for a hostile state, yeah. they're probably, I don't know, the fact that you have a bank card that has a different name on it, they're probably like, oh, well, we'll let you go then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so how did they let you go? What, what happened? Did they? Um, well, they didn't believe my the bank cards weren't enough. I actually had two because one's got my old name on it and one's got my current name because mm. I'd have a name change. And so like, I've seen some people online being like, you know, that's Ace because that, that used to be my name like growing up and stuff. And I changed it like three years ago or something like that. Got you. you know, so Horatio used to be my, my middle name. Mm. Um and that, you know, and that's my first and stuff. Yeah. And so the, you know, bank cards weren't enough, you know, uh, I had nothing else. So they had to do a fingerprint scan and they brought out one of those, um, portable fingerprint scanners. And from what I know, it just takes your fingerprint, like bounces against the database compares to other fingerprints to say like whether it matches to any or not. Mm. Apparently it doesn't store them. And I've had a lot of people saying like, you know, uh, make sure they don't keep your fingerprints, you know? Mm. And that they kind of worry me. And then I've heard from other people, like, the thing that they used apparently doesn't store them, you know. But, I mean, if they did, I, I have no way of knowing. Yeah. But they, they did that. Oh God, it must have been at least 20 to 30 minutes. They, they kept me just, you know, doing, doing checks and stuff. They were and chatting to you when this was happening. Yeah, I mean, I was chatting to them, yeah. honestly. Because after they, they told me what was going on, I was just like... You know, well, obviously, you know, like I'm not the guy, so I was quite relaxed. And so I was just chatting to them. I was like, yeah, I'm going to London today. I'm going to this thing. I'm so excited, you know. Um, yeah, just, you know, I didn't really want them to, I wanted them to, to know I wasn't this, the guy. And mm-hmm. I'm just some random fucker, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so Were, were they, yeah. when they realized, what was their reaction? Because yeah. they must have been like, that's a good day at work. If you found Daniel Khalif at that yeah. policeman, they'd been buzzing they must have been so pumped i mean they, 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 you know, yeah, they came over been, they yeah, came fucking did it lads we sorted yeah. it they came like oh we're getting that bonus we're getting that, <laughs> that holiday the reputation you know. of the police in this country is in the mud and we're yeah. gonna single-handedly turn it around yeah. they're all like high-fiving and shit yeah. yeah they must have been like oh god our superior is gonna be like so pissed like, oh my god <laughs> the, the, you know the drawback that this is gonna have but um you know, like, it's like they came over in stride so proud. And then, then that happened. And they, you know, they let me go and they apologized, you know. And I, I, I do have to say they were quite professional throughout it. They mm. weren't nasty. You know, they were talkative. They were professional. You know, they didn't, like, when they took my hands, they weren't forceful or anything, mm. you know. Uh, and, yeah, and I, I think I'm quite lucky that I, I, I got that sort of situation because... um. It doesn't always turn out like that. Mm. You know, like I only found out the other day about a situation with this this guy apparently on the tube who back in like 2004. Oh, John he, Charles Demenza. That's it, yeah. yeah. And apparently he just got shot just out of nowhere by the police because he was suspected to be this, this terrorist they were looking for. And I just think like I'm glad it didn't happen to me. I mean, they didn't even have any weapons on them. All I saw was like CS spray mm. and that was it. There was no, nothing in the in the holsters or anything. There was the guy in the helicopter, obviously, as well, that was circling. He probably had, like, a big old gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, like, snipers, snipers everywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's just the one you couldn't yeah. see the weapons. That was the thing. That's yeah. the... Yeah, no. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Then, obviously, like, the video gets posted online. Mm. How How's the reaction been? How, how have you felt about what happened? Well, I was in the queue. You're here, obviously, as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's part of the reaction, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was in the queue for this signing. I like got right by the front. And I told my supervisor about it, mm. about the whole situation. And suddenly she's like, oh, my God, I saw you on Twitter. My boyfriend sent me like a, a video of you. Um, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And so I'm, I'm, I look at it. And then I, I'm like, oh, God, I gotta make a Twitter account to like, because I've never been on Twitter before. Like yeah. Twitter's not really my sort of thing. I've always seen, like, looked at it as quite a hard thing to navigate, you know, 
politically and and socially like you could just say anything and you get cancelled yeah. you get cancelled mm. you know like and the police come and arrest you and the police come and arrest yeah, you and you like, don't even fucking do yeah, that and they still s- arrest you can't even see your english anymore yeah. yeah he's like you say you say anything nowadays and you just roll in dice yeah exactly. you know what i mean 100 percent. So, so twitter is like one of those things they're trying to stay away from but it's like, quite it's quite bold yeah. of you to um not want to commit anything to like 140 characters but be like yeah 20 minutes chance shit on podcast. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. absolutely fine yeah. <laughs> absolutely fine i'll give that yeah. a go i'll give that a go yeah. um sorry so you made a twitter account mm-hmm. yeah and then i commented on the post that the guy, this guy had posted the video. It wasn't his video, it was some of the ladies video, you know. And he posted it. And this is the one that was going all around that everyone's seen. And I commented under it and I was like, hey, yeah, this is me. Uh, and this is what happened. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not the guy. And everybody at first was just like, oh, that's bullshit, right? Like, you know, it's just some pathetic fish account, all right? Like, and then, you know, I, the, I, the, I DM the guy. Well, I think he DM me. Um. And I confirmed who I was. Like I sent him a photo of the shirt that I was wearing because mm-hmm. I was still wearing it from from early, you know. So I sent that, and then he was, you know, clarified on the on the tweet and everything. Um, and I ended up taking it down. And I didn't ask him to take it down, but like he said, he felt bad. Oh. So he he took it down, and then I had a, an apology from the lady who took the video as well, oh, just wow. like, just yesterday. Um, that's good of them. That's interesting. Yeah, and it, it was it was nice. It's nice to see not not everybody so cynical on the internet. Some people yeah. seem to understand that there is, there is like. Pe- a person behind that account behind these these videos and these and these phones which i think a lot of people forget mm. especially with some of the things that i've i've i've, I've gotten you know yeah. some people forget there's like a real person and mm. i think that's very true for pretty much all the internet yeah you know it's something that i forgot you know growing up and stuff you know on the internet and things so now that yeah. this has happened uh, i guess it's probably my final question yeah. do you feel like a sense of like connection with daniel khalif after what's happened mm. do, you, do you almost you know how like twins who are separated at birth you're like you're, t- you're tied for, to him forever no mm. i guess so in a way i am tied to him <laughs> <laughs> go and visit God, people have been saying we should be going like love you're island, island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, i think there's a real obstacle to him going on love island yeah it would mm. probably be the terrorism charges he faces <laughs> but, yeah i mean but they've let anyone on love island right yeah so maybe I mean, maybe not Facing terrorism charges. Well, anyone with a bit of a tan. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, nice. um, yeah, and I, 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 somebody said that, and I remember I said to them, I said back to them, like, we'll probably end up, like, like hate each other at first, but then mm. at the end just end up making out. Yeah. You know? Nice. <laughs> just, oh, like, just full circle, you yeah. know, just, like, bam. Yeah. Like, love there. that. Love that. Yeah. And the rest of your life together. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, you know, and raise <laughs> a kid. You, yeah, you grow, wait. You, you're, you know? like, there waiting for him to yeah. get out of prison. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you're right, right. One of those like people who are like the girlfriends of like people on prison wives, prison wives, but mm. for like people on who like on life or like the lifers and mm. or de- on them um, death row in the US, mm. or, like the letter writing programs. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look into that. If you, if you go on in at ones with prison, let us know. I'm yeah, yeah. If we can get get into that. Tidy. Anything else? You know what this screams of? Yeah. I think you will be asked to go on Big Pack Quiz of the Year this year. Sorry, oh, do you, do you know? You know, big fact was the year they like the annual panel show they do. Channel Four. So they, it's like Jimmy Carr does this panel show, and they always do this thing where they bring out someone who's been in the news mm. from this year, mm. and they're like, "Who is this person?" Mm. And the comedians have to guess who it is. Mm. I think. Yeah, you're a I think, I think, for that. I think you'll be uh, mm. in the, in the, in the running. To be, so if yeah. so if a producer from Channel Four approaches you, yeah. Ask for a uh, lot yeah. of money. I, Are you I, after a finder's yeah. fee? Is that what you're? I think so. If, you're, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if Jimmy I've, represents, I've so never I like been on TV. I think the most publicity I've ever had in my life is it was um, a photo from the Royal Blood concert I went to last year in Birmingham, mm. and it was like a photo taken from the stage of all the people. I surfed through it and I just found my like my head like two pixels wide, and that's like the most of, like. I've ever been like you know um, <laughs> and, until this happened until this happened yeah. and then like the other day I had somebody from Good Morning Breakfast come to me mm. and, and talk to me and I don't think I'm going to be on there anymore because they said that they'll see how it goes and now that he's been arrested it's like mm. it's not too hopeful but like, yeah that's fine mm. um, but yeah it is strange to have people come to me and talk to me people from the news and yeah, yeah. And, and radio hosts and, and things like that yeah. You know, it's because I'm just some like regular guy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I didn't really ask for any of this or like make any of it happen. It just happened. Yeah. Just yeah, by me existing. Yeah. 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 You know. Um, 
Well, Horatio, it's been an absolute pleasure having yeah. you on. Before we draw things to a close, anything you want to promote? Anything you want to plug? You want to take the opportunity? Oh, mm. I guess I would say Royal Blood's new album. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> yeah. I would say that. I'm Let's not go. Paid Favorite for anything. Favorite track? Favorite track. Oh, God. I'd probably say it's a close call between Waves, mm. which is a very different song to most of their stuff. It's the first song they ever had with like a guitar. Or I, I don't know how many more times. Um, I just love like it's got this like part in the riff where it suddenly the pitch like shifts up like an octave and there's like this heavy reverb and it just like it's like it has this like shattering effect and I, I love it you know mm. I love the meaning behind the song as well um, and it's a very kind of classic but also fresh raw blood song the waves is the sort of song I put on when I want to cry you okay. know and there's not many of those raw blood songs but yeah, um, it's probably my favorite album of this you know and it came out just like a few days after my birthday on like September 1st, you know. Brilliant. So yeah, cool. I'd love to plug that and listen to them because they're a good band. Nice one. Yeah. Thanks very much for coming in, mate. Yeah, Appreciate no problem. It. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah.